Today we're going to talk about fragrances that men love on women. So I've got a few cheapies for you, a few designer ones and one niche fragrance. So for everybody really, any budget, three, two, one, let's do this. and on this channel we talk about fragrances so if you're interested in that topic press that subscribe button and let's get on with today's video the first pick i chose was no other than alien but the absolute version of i nearly said version in like a french accent what's wrong with me version the absolute version of alien and this i think is my favorite version of alien and men love it too alien it's a very distinctive dna but this is a bit darker a bit smoother and a bit more essential in my opinion it original alien uh, is full of jasmine but it's a bit sharp and this is just so much refined it's almost like a grown-up alien if you know what i mean if you smell it you'll totally get what I mean because it's just full of vanilla, jasmine, woods. Oh, it's just beautiful, beautiful, sensual. And the sillage of this, the scent for is amazing. The longevity is amazing. This has been discontinued apparently, but you can still buy it. I bought this bottle just last week and I was still able to get it and it's available everywhere. So I don't know how they're doing this discontinued thing because it's available everywhere. And this is my favorite, favorite alien. And I love Jasmine. Many people have said that jasmine adds that sensuality aspect in a fragrance and this is definitely that it's so sensual it's so beautiful men really like it this is more of a nighttime fragrance or like a date night even a clubbing fragrance this is so good and also unique in its dna in its alien dna if you know what i mean so alien absolute by thierry mugler next up we've got coco chanel I've got the intense version, but both of them, the normal, the usual, the first version is as good as this one, I think. I love them both, but this one is a bit more, again, a bit more sweet, a bit more intense in its scent profile. So it's got patchouli, loads of lovely, lovely sparkling uh, citruses. It's just so good such a classy classy perfume which many people know but you know if you want to smell good and get compliments from men this is definitely one of those fragrances that men really appreciate and it's uh, a bit more of a, like a more classy grown-up fragrance but still youthful and chanel a lot of chanel fragrances like number five can be a bit more mature in the scent profile i still love number five but I don't wear it personally. I can appreciate the fragrance on other people, but it's not its time yet on my skin. But this is just a compliment getter, a very beautifully crafted fragrance. It's just stunning. Again, longevity projection of it is great, especially as Valentine's Day is coming up. This will be a great one to wear on Valentine's Day too. Coco Mademoiselle. Oh, parfum intense Chanel. Next up, I've got Elisab Le Parfum in white. And this, for some reason, it's one of those fragrances that I hear many men actually mentioning as one of the sexiest fragrances for women. And I don't know why it's not talked, ab talked about more in the fragrance industry, because this I think was created by Francis Kirkajan, which also created Le Mal. And the fragrance is great. Again, it's a jasmine fragrance. Get the little link here. Yeah, jasmine is a very sensual note and the one that really most men will enjoy. And this is a beautifully done jasmine with orange blossom at the top. Um, it's also got some musks, some 
like sweetness to it, some like ambery kind of thing going on in the base. I wore it all day today and I really enjoy it. It's not my favorite, favorite scent, but even my husband who's really, really picky with fragrances, he said that this smells so good. So it's a definitely a compliment getter. Not so many people wear it, I feel like. I don't smell it on other women a lot. So this is a great one if you want to smell a bit different, but still good. Uh, projection is good for a couple of hours, but I had to respray it a couple of times today. So longevity is about five hours. So have it in your purse to respray it and smell lovely. But this is really like a compliment magnet. People really get, get intrigued by it, I think. Yeah, it's just very, very good. Very beautifully done. Elie Sable Le Parfum in white. Next up, we've got Ariana Grande's The Cloud. Look how cute the packaging is. But actually, this really smells. So I just chuck it and I just use this. Yeah, I don't know why, but it really, really smells. So this is a tube for Baccarat Rouge, which is a very expensive niche fragrance that many people love. Um, however, I would say that this does remind me of Baccarat Rouge, but it's not exactly the same. This is kind of a standalone fragrance, I would say. On the top, I get loads of like coconutty vibes, actually, and it doesn't smell the best, I think, in the first few minutes when it's applied. It, it kind of smells cheap, and it is cheap, but later down the line, it really smells beautiful. It's like a sweet cotton candy sort of burnt smell. Lots of sweetness in this one. I also get some tea kind of vibes and I think that is from blending of the florals and um, the fruits and everything. But this is a really beautiful, sweet fragrance that will get you noticed definitely. It does project quite well. The longevity of this is quite good too. And for the price of this, this is an excellent, excellent scent profile excellent fragrance many people will love the way you smell if you wear this and for such a price like this is a no-brainer i could really go and smell it and see if you love it i think it's got some berries on top too so yeah uh, i'm just checking and this has got coconut praline and some lavender which i don't get much of it some freshness from the bergamot some pear definitely the pear is giving me that tea kind of vibe because it's just like smooth some woods some chantilly cream some coconut yeah it's just full of goodness it's hard to really describe how it smells because you don't get like a distinctive kind of note but this smells just so good it's hard to describe the same way that Baccarat Rouge is very hard to describe because it's so elusive and dense in its smell. This is really good too and it's a standalone fragrance in my opinion, although this is very expensive and this is supposed to smell like this. So if you can't quite part with your money for this fragrance, I would really recommend you try this one because it's, it's very, very good. It's not as good as this one, but really good. So next, just leading on from this, is actually Baccarat Rouge. If you want compliments, if you want attention, if you want somebody to just stop you on the street and say, what is that you're smelling? Go for Baccarat Rouge 540. Men wear it, women wear it but on women it just smells so good and yeah i really see people gravitating towards me when i wear this like actually getting closer in even in public like in queues or anything and i'm a person who loves my space so i really feel it <laughs> and i don't quite enjoy it but i love wearing this scent this scent smells like burnt sugar cotton candy amber woods it also smells kind of weird and wonderful. It's unlike anything you've smelled. So if you want to just have men literally asking you, oh my gosh, what are you wearing? This is so good. Wear Baccarat Rouge. This is just a signature scent. This is so good. I think you have to give a thumbs up for this scent because it's just the best. This is my favorite. So I just love the scent so much. And it's not the most expensive, it's not the most unknown scent, but I just personally think it's so 
sexy, sensual, it's so beautiful, it's so different, it's so mysterious, it's so dark, but still it's got that lightness in it and men love it too. It is a classic. It's from one of my favorite houses in perfumery. It's from Dior. It's Hypnotic Poison Eau de Toilette. Eau de Toilette, not Eau de Parfum. They smell completely different. This is truly a hypnotizing fragrance. It's just how they describe it. It just leaves you wanting more and more and more. It has got tons of like sweetness, vanilla. It kind of smells like Play-Doh to me. I also get this kind of green um, mint, like if you were chewing on a green mint chewing gum. Mm. This kind of has got that coolness of the mint in there somewhere. This scent is to die for. It's also different than a lot of the fragrances out there because a lot of fragrances out there being released now are incredibly sweet almost unbearably sweet and they all kind of smell similar but this has got something different this has got this uniqueness this a bit of like a vamp girl vibe it's a bit rebellious but it's still sexy and pleasant for everybody allowed to be around so this has got some like coconutty vibe going on almonds yes vanilla almonds some sandalwood type of smoothness just smoothing it all and make it it so nicely blended i just love it and it is affordable, you know, it's a designer fragrance, you can get it, um, but you won't regret it. It's one of those fragrances for me that I only wear very rarely because it's so special to me. Um, it's one of the first fragrances I really, really loved for the uniqueness of the scent. And as I said, if you wear it, anybody around you will want to smell you more and more. So it is a quiet, La quietly loud fragrance so it is quiet around you it's not like a huge scent throw but it still projects but then when it projects when it moves with your body it really makes an impact and people notice you men will love it on you i guarantee it it's such a hypnotizing lovely sexy scent hypnotic poison let me know which ones are your favorite scents that you enjoy wearing and that you see men gravitating towards let me know what kind of notes what kind of scents and men enjoy on you on yourself i would love to check them out let me read comment of the day because if you didn't know i shout out comments from the people that subscribe and also press the notification bell just to you know keep the community engaged and i love to give back and you guys are commenting spending time on comments so i love to just converse with you guys so if you want to be shouted out in my next video press that subscribe button and the notification bell today it's a comment from Michael Pannone. He says, great video, Mo Monica. Roche's moustache, absolute favorite. People at work that have no interest in fragrances come closer when I wear it. They want to know what it is and three people, including my brother, have all purchased it. Have you tried it? I haven't tried it actually and I don't know if I would be the biggest fan of this fragrance because I believe it's got cocoa and like lavender or something. I don't quite remember what it was. I looked it up the other day and I looked at the notes and I thought I don't know if I would love it but I'm going to try it definitely so thank you for suggesting it I love talking about fragrances with you guys I post every Monday and Thursday at the moment uh, and remember if you love something a scent just wear it no matter whether it's unisex whether it's marketed towards men or women just wear it and I'll see you all again very soon bye guys